Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Dre. I am the New York Times bestselling co-author of America's First Daughter and My Dear Hamilton. I'm here today to read to you from my newest book, The Women of Chateau Lafayette. I'm reading to you from the perspective of Beatrice Chandler, who was absolutely irrepressible and a decorated heroine of World War I. And here she is. We need to do something, I was saying, my eyes on the giant funnels pouring a steady stream of smoke overhead. The war had been our only topic of conversation since our frantic rush to board a vessel leaving France. And as we sailed toward New York's harbor now, our thoughts were still with those we left behind in the conflict. If America won't send soldiers to help, we can at least send money. We'll need some manner of charitable foundation. Miss Sloan delighted me by agreeing enthusiastically. And we'll need gentlemen on the board or no one will take us seriously, I said, removing my gloves as we sat down for coffee together in the stylishly appointed cafe. It was strictly for passengers traveling first class, and its velvet curtains, wood paneling, and opulent decor, supplied by W. and J. Sloan, gave the impression of a fine hotel. We'll also need to give our charity a romantic, patriotic name, I don't see what could possibly be romantic about war, Miss Sloan said. Oh, most people can't, I replied. War is a grim business. Americans would like to stay out of it if Wilson's declaration of neutrality is any indication of the public mood. To get them to care, we must appeal to the emotions. Love, hate, patriotism. I took a notebook and wrote the Lafayette Fund. Miss Sloan stared uncomprehendingly. Lafayette, the revolutionary hero? Precisely. I explained, in the most powerful social circles, the founding fathers are revered more than Christ. You can't swing a beaded handbag in Mrs. Astor's grand ballroom without hitting a daughter of the American Revolution primed to opine in worshipful ecstasy about Washington, Adams, or Jefferson. They'll all open their wallets for the far more romantic figure of Lafayette. 